Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Well, um, I'm told you I'm in my car and right now I'm driving to my house and I only have to to listen in the, the class. Uh later later I connect my camera and I participate in the class. Okay, okay. Oh, let me prepare the attendance list for this class. Okay, let's get started with the attendance, okay? Carlos Alberto Martinez. Carlos Alberto. Claudia Maria Garcia. Present teacher. David Alonso Mejia. Present teacher. Okay. Esaú Ismael Tobar. Evelyn Janet Marroquín. Present teacher. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Glendy Elisette Flores. Here. Okay. Isabo Elizabeth Torres. Present teacher. Okay. Isaura Evelia Vázquez. Present teacher. Okay. Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño. Luis Fernando Linares. Present. Okay. Marco Antonio Quijano. Present. Okay. Natalie Rebecca Peña. Present. Okay. Nubia Cristina Morales. Present. Present. Okay, barely hear you. Odir Omar Soriano. Present teacher. Okay, Raul Antonio Perez. Present teacher. Rebecca Jonel Hernández. Teacher. Okay. Renato Salvador Ramírez. 
Rene Giovanni Martínez. I'm here. Ruth María Rosamaya. Present teacher. Okay, Saúl Alexander Lozano. Saúl Alexander. Present. Present. Okay. okay, Silvia Tatiana Acosta. Present teacher. Okay, people. Well, I always have to remind you that you should have the cameras on. Hi, Francisco. I see your hand. Good evening, present. Um, okay. okay, so turn on your cameras, people. Okay, let's get started tonight talking about movies. Well, this is a um, kind of old information, but anyways, let let's take a look to it, okay? It is about the most successful uh, movies. The number one, according to this, I, I'm not sure if this is still the number one, Star Wars, according to this source. Now, uh, before the 2000s, actually. Star Wars made 420 million dollars et 399 jurassic park 356 independence day 306 the lion king 300 forest gump 298 home alone 285 return of the jedi 263 jaws 260 Batman, 251. Well. Okay. How many of you have seen these movies? Let me see. I have seen all of them. I have seen all of them. And yeah, my favorite is the Star Wars, definitely. Okay. Who else has seen all of them, the 10 movies? Have you seen the 10 movies, people? Yes or no? Yes. No. Only eight. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Silvia Tatiana says yes. All yeah. of them. Okay. Star Wars is my favorite. Yeah. Okay. It's the best. Okay. Jaws is the is the first movie about shark. This is the name. Jaws. Shark. Is it about shark? Okay. Ah, how many of these movies have you seen? Write in the chat a number, the number of movies you have seen. Okay, have you seen 10? Well, I have seen 10. Okay, Luis says eight movies. I have seen 10. Rebecca, 10, okay. Silvia, Tatiana, 10. Marco Antonio, 10. No, 7. Okay. Natalie says 7. Evelyn Janet, 10. 
Francisco, nine. Isaura, six. David, four. Claudia, five. Nubia, three. You don't like movies, Nubia? <laughs> Raul, three. Okay. Glendy, four. Rene, six. Yeah, some of you are too young for those movies. Look at the years, 1975, 1977. Yeah, very, very old movies. It's above four. Okay, and from those movies you have already seen, which one is your favorite from these movies you have seen? Maybe there is another one that could be your favorite, but which one is your favorite here of this one? Marco, E.T., Zaura, E.T. Ah, it's very sweet. So, you have seen at least three. Forrest Gump. The Lion King. Ah, okay. Forrest Gump, okay, Francisco, Independence Day. But you have seen three, Rebecca. Oh, how many have you seen? You have seen 10. Or no, Rebecca, Rebecca, where is Rebecca? I can find you. Okay. So, you have seen all of them, Rebecca, from those 10 movies. Which is your favorite? Oh. Um, but I hate that. I like for some, but, not, but it's not my favorite. Yeah, but for, from this list. The question is just from oh, this list. For some. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Now, what in general, not only from this list, in general, what is your favorite movie? The best movie you have ever seen in your life? I have two, personally. Okay. Write them in the chat, please. So we can read everyone's. Uh, favorite movie. What What is your favorite movie? Write it. Write your favorite movie. Write Write it in the chat. Okay. Ah, oh, I see. Ah. Oh. Sorry, I haven't seen the messages. Um, Avengers, yeah, you're young people. I don't, like, I don't like those movies. But I'm sorry, I fall asleep. Too much action and too little argument for me. For me, I'm sorry. Uh, Transylvania says Claudia. Uh, the Miserable, the musical, Evelyn, is, is beautiful. I love it. Yes, it's a uh, musical. Yes, musical. With, yes, with, what is the name of the actor, the, with the Wolverine? What is the name of that actor? Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman, yeah. Yes, I liked it. Okay. Batman, The Dark Knight, Me Before You, Ah, With the Girl. What, what is the name of this actress? The one from Game of Thrones. It Pray Love, El Mariachi, really. John Wick, no way. Emilia Clark. Emilia Clark, yeah. She's the one in Me Before You, right? Natalie? Yep. Yeah? Okay. Yes. John Wick's movies. Wow. Well, I'm too old for that kind of movies. 
Rescue the, the soul, soldier Ryan. In English, it's saving private Ryan. I don't know why they call private to the, to the soldiers. That is the name in English. Saving private Ryan. <laughs> I took my wife to see to watch that movie. I I think it was an anniversary we were celebrating. And she didn't like it. Too bloody. Matrix, that is good. Low pride and prejudice. Eh. My favorite movie is Titanic. Okay. It's good. Oh, okay. You love the main actor? Which one? Luke? Luke Skywalker? Or Harrison Ford? Who is the main actor for you? Sylvia? Uh, Kill Bill? Huh? Yeah, who's the main actor in Star Wars? I don't remember the name of the actor of Luke Skywalker. Well, who? The question is who is the main character in Star Wars? Luke? Darth Vader? Or Harrison Ford? Okay. Anakin? Ah, Anakin. Ah, okay. Yeah, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill is the first one. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, people. Very good. Well, let's take a look to uh, this conversation here. Okay, who's this? Ah, my my youngest daughter loves him. He's her favorite actor. Can you name some movies? Oh, from um. Pirates of Caribbean. A Caesar. Okay. Caesar and what is the name? Uh, Charlie, Charlie Scissor. Okay. Johnny, Johnny the Scissor Hand, or something like that. A uh, Charlie and the Factory of Chocolate. chocolate. Uh -huh. Annabelle. 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 Oh. What What is the name of that one where he is a barber? Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd. It's where he's a barber, right? Yeah. Ah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but he's a good actor, really good actor. Okay. Let's see. Let me read the conversation. I will read it and record it for you. Okay. Conversation. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new Steven Spielberg film? I hear it's really exciting. Who's Steven Spielberg? You know, he directed Jaws, E.T., and Jurassic Park. Oh, Jurassic Park was boring. The book by Michael Crichton was fascinating. But the movie was terrible. Well, I'm interested in that new Johnny Depp movie. It's a romance. It's been playing for about a month. Now that sounds good. I've never seen him in a romance. And I think he's a wonderful actor. Okay. Very good. Let me read it one more time. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new Steven Spielberg film? I hear it's really exciting. Who's the Steven Spielberg? You know, I directed Jaws, E.T., and Jurassic Park. Oh, Jurassic Park was boring. 
The book by Michael Crichton was fascinating, but the movie was terrible. Well, I'm interested in that new Johnny Depp movie. It's a Roman. It's been playing for about a month. Now that sounds good. I've never seen him in a Roman, and I think he's a wonderful actor. Okay. Very good. Well, I'll give you a couple of minutes to practice the conversation, okay, in in pairs. So let me form the groups. I know some of you are just as listeners. I don't remember. I think Renato is one and Luis, well, let's form groups of three, just in case. One is not available. Okay, go to your groups, please. And I'm going to send the conversation to WhatsApp. Practice the conversation, please. Join your groups. Hmm. You're alone here? Okay, let me send you to another group.
Hi, good evening. Hi. 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 Okay. Any question with the conversation, people? No? Okay, now we are going to watch a video about, uh, well, let me show you something here first. How about the new Steven Spielberg's film? I hear it's really exciting. Um, Jurassic Park. Oh, Jurassic Park, they say here, was boring. The book by Michael Crichton was fascinating. The movie was terrible. I'm interested in that new Johnny the movie. It's a romance. He's been playing for about a month. I've never seen him in a month. Okay, these are some uh, adjectives that are used to describe these movies. Okay. Here we are going to study how to use participles as adjectives. Present participles, like interesting, like boring, or fascinating, or past participles like interested, bored, Fascinated. But let's watch it in a video, okay? We have here in the in the platform. Let me prepare the video. Yeah, here it is. Watch it, please. Welcome. This time you will learn about participles used as adjectives in present and in past. Please take notes and feel free to play the audio program as well as the explanation as many times as you need to. Page 87. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Participles as adjectives. Present participles. Stephen King's books are fascinating. The last James Bond film was boring. The new Halle Berry movie sounds interesting. Past participles. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. I was bored by the last James Bond film. I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. Before we begin, I want to go over to what exactly is the past participle. The past participle is the form of a verb typically ending in ed in English that is used in forming perfect and passive tenses and sometimes as an adjective. In this section, we'll study participles as adjectives. Pay attention. I want to go over two important points. Number one, do you remember what an adjective is? Very good. An adjective describes a noun. For example, the white cat ran away from John. Adjective, white, noun, cat. In other words, because participles can be used as adjectives, it means that the participle as adjective also describes a noun. For example, 
The white cat was exciting to watch. Noun, cat, participle as adjective, exciting. Number two, I imagine you noticed we use present and past participles during the audio program. Let's work around that. When we use present participle, we add ing. And when we use past participle, we add ed. Notice what happens here. We took the verb excite and we turn it into present participle, becoming exciting. The same verb, but this time into past participle and it became excited. I know you're wondering when to use participles in present or past. Here you go. Present participles describe a noun and past participles describe feeling of a noun. I'll try to simplify it. ing equals outside factor that causes a feeling. ed equals expresses the feeling or reaction. With examples, I am sure you will understand it better. Here, I am just showing you the present and past participle. Interesting, interested. Tiring, tired. Exciting, excited. Now we'll use them in sentences. The museum is interesting. I'm interested. Work is tiring. I am tired. The movie is exciting. I'm excited. Please complete the description below with the correct form of these words. As always, write your answers in our discussion box. Okay, so remember that we have, as I told you, two kind of two types of participles. Present participles, which are the verbs ending in ing, and past participles, which are verbs ending in ed. Talking about regular verbs, actually. Okay, but. Uh, Uh, excite, exciting, present participle, excite, excited, past participle. Okay, present participles is often the reason or cause. Okay. Um, So, for example, if I say the, the party, I'm going to describe the party. The party is um, boring. Yeah. The party causes that feeling. So, is the reason. The party is boring. Okay. The past participle express the feelings or reactions. We are bored. We are bored. So that's how I feel. That is my reaction in that situation. Of some place where she said that. Okay, the present participle describe noun. 
Okay. The party is boring. Uh, the, the book is amazing. Yeah, describing a noun. And the past participle describe the feelings of a noun. Okay, that is important to remember. Now look at this exercise. We have to use these adjectives to complete this paragraph. Amaze, annoy, confuse, disgust, embarrass, shock. Let's try to do it. Number one, let's see, let's read. I had a terrible time at the movies. First, my ticket cost $10. I was really... What, which word can we use? Shock. Shock, okay. Shock. In present participle or in past participle? Shocking or shock? In past. Shock. Yeah. Past participle. Okay. Shock. Let me use yellow. I was really shocked. Capital. By the price. By mistake, I gave the cashier a $5 bill instead of a 10. It was a little, or oh, I was a little embarrassed. Confused? Confused? Uh, no. Embarrassed. Yeah, I think it's embarrassed. Embarrassing or embarrassed? Embarrassed. 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 Okay. Embarrassed. Then there was a trash. There, there was trash all over the theater. The mess was disgusting. We have your shock, embarrassed. Disgusting or disgusted? Disgusting. Okay. The mess was disgusting. The people behind me talked during the movie, which was Annoyed. Okay, annoyed or annoying? Annoying. Annoying. The story was hard. The story was hard to follow. I always find thrillers too. Confusing. 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 I like these special effects though. They were Amazing. 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 Okay. Amazing. 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 Okay, very good. I had a terrible time at the movies. First, my ticket cost $10. I was really shocked by the price. By mistake, I gave the cashier a $5 bill instead of a 10. I was a little embarrassed. 
then there was trash all over the theater. The mess was disgusting. The people behind me talked during the movie, which was annoying. The story was hard to follow. I always find thrillers too confusing. I like the special effects though. They were amazing. Okay, very good. Very good. Now let's go back to the manual. We have some sentences here that you have to complete. You have the adjectives in parentheses, so you have to use to use the adjective in the correct form as a present participle or as a past participle. Okay. Work on that, please. I will send this exercise to WhatsApp.
Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Perdón, sorry. Are you finished? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, let's check together then. Okay, let's start with uh, Carlos. Can you read the first, the sentence number one, please? there. Claudia, what about you? Can you read number one? Denzel Washington is a very interesting actor. Okay. Good. David, Good. number two, please. <laughs> David? Okay, I find nature films fascinating. Okay. Um, Evelyn, number three. Evelyn, Jeanette. Aquí estoy, aquí estoy, ahorita. Eh, ok, um, ver, sería eh, I am, I am not interested in horror movies. Ok. Uh -huh. Francisco, number four. I work with watching television. Ok. Um, Glendy, number five. I loved Winona Ryder's latest movie. I was amazed that it's, it didn't know better. Okay. Isabel, number six. Uh, I thought uh, Jurassic Park was an exciting book. Okay. Is Saura number seven? I am fascinated by Michael Christon novels. Okay, and Marco Antonio, number eight. It's surprising they don't make many Westerns these days. It's surprising. Oops. Surprising. Okay, very good, very good people. Let's practice. Let me read the sentences and record them here for your practice. Sentences, one. Denzel Washington is a very interesting actor. Two, I find nature films fascinating. Three, I'm not interested in horror movies. Four, I'm bored with watching television. Five, I loved Winona Ryder's latest movie. I was amazed that it didn't do better. Six, 
I thought Jurassic Park was an exciting book. Seven. I'm fascinated by Michael Crichton's novel. And eight. It's surprising they don't make many westerns these days. Okay. Very good. Any questions so far, people? Okay. okay. Well, what else do we have here? Well, we have a list of uh, adjectives and we have to classify them by uh, they are synonyms, okay? They are synonyms. Okay, well, which adjectives are synonym of awful? Which adjectives are synonym from that list? Which adjectives are synonym of wonderful? Which ones are synonym of stupid? And which ones are synonym of strange? So let's do a couple of them before leaving because it's almost time to stop. What about uh, absurd? In which column would you place absurd? Under awful, under wonderful, under stupid, or under strange? Abs uh, absurd. Stupid. stupid? Yeah, okay. Absurd. Okay, what about bizarre? Bizarre. Do you have any idea? Strange. Yes. Strange. Strange. is a synonym. It's another way to say strange. Disgusting. Awful. Awful. Dreadful. Awful. 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 Okay, people, let's stop here. It is 10 o'clock. You can continue with this later. Uh, we are going to check it on Monday, okay? So enjoy your weekend and don't, don't forget to complete the activities on the platform, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, people. Bye bye. Have a good night and a nice bye. week. Good night. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Yes. Can lower the price. I want the the feature. I'm sorry. Um, can I go? I lo lower the price. I want the the feature. The the before the before. I'm sorry, I don't get it. Lower. Uh huh. Quiero tomarle foto a la a la presi que presentó ahí anteriormente, de que acabamos de hacer. Ah. Solo quiero tomarle la foto rápido. This one. Espérame que no la veo. Entonces. No, no tienes el manual. Han descargado el manual. Como no, pero como ya la, la, la puso ahí, ¿verdad? Ya okay. la, ahí okay. le bueno, la voy a poner en el grupo si quieres. Ah, ok, está bien, por favor. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Ok, buenas noches. Good night. There it is.
Bye-bye, people. Bye-bye.